What's up? All right, everyone. Uh, sorry to take a break there, but we came. We come back for the first time on this stream with a guest. We have Tim Dillon. Thank you so much. What 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 is this stream? I I I can only imagine like <laughs> you're you're streaming and you have like fifteen people from Syria, <laughs> like like <laughs> listening to this. <them. laughs> It's, it's what ten, is Twitch? It's ten people. I'm playing Metroid Prime Remastered uh, on the Switch, and people are, you know, just uh, enjoying the exploration. Uh, it's basically like a war simulator. It's like it's kind of like Ukraine war, uh, but in space. Yeah, I mean that's that, that'll be next. They will they'll move that war to space if they can. <laughs> Um, yeah, man. I mean, I've never tried Twitch. Maybe I will try it and I'll, I'll do like Donkey Kong or Super Mario Brothers. Does anyone stream games that are older? Yeah, that happens for sure. You could definitely do that. Uh, Tim, you gotta get your on your Switch and play some rounds of Mario Kart with Ray. That's Dr. Juice. That's not a bad idea. Okay. Yeah, we can play I'm Mario. not against that. Yeah, we could do that. We could, we could do a whole, we could, uh, once a week or whatever. We, we, and you can be exposed to a whole new audience. All ten. <laughs> all ten. <yeah>. All ten. <laughs> all ten. <laughs> all new. Uh, yeah. I um. I don't know. Do you, do you, do you, do you, do do any of the Twitch people raid you? I heard about that. That's a thing. Rate me. Yeah, like there's rate. Like not not the not the swatting, but I mean like. You mean People's like you audience rape me? Raid. Like, 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 like anally? No, like raid. R-A-I-D. Oh, like oh, yeah, yeah. Some, some people's audiences can raid your stream to yeah. come into your stream. I haven't gotten that yet. I, I raided. So they told me to do it, so I raided someone and it got me nothing. <laughs> they have all this advice. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, I can just imagine you, like, you on the phone with, like, an assistant at, like, a big agency going, like, I raided someone. <laughs> I mean, I mean they're, they're like their badges are going, why are you talking to this guy? Like, <laughs> what do you hope to get out of this? And he's like, I believe in him. I think he, he needs a little bit, but he's doing well. I picture every, every, um, if I ever raid anybody, they'll immediately be arrested for child pornography. Right, 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 right. What is it? The big Twitch streamers are like Aiden Ross, Kai Sinat. Yeah, they have a Who few more followers than me. I'm getting Hassan, there. Hassan, Hassan, Hiker is big. Yeah, uh, he seems. Yeah. He, 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 I, I said he supposedly plays games, but every time I, I looked at his stream, uh, it just seems like he's just you know he's like just talking about Hillary he talks Clinton. Politics. Yeah, he talks politics. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't know who else is big on there. I'm sure there are other people that are big. There's the girls in the in the hot tubs. And, the girls uh, in the hot tubs. It's a whole thing. It's, it's like uh, girls getting hot tubs and bikinis, and they uh, they play Mario Brothers or whatever. I don't know. They play. They want know they play games. Hassan Piker girls has in a, hot tubs. Yeah, they. I'm yeah, that's a, a big. I'm that's, I guess chat. that's a big thing. This guy, Hassan Piker, has a plan to house the homeless. Why just put him in his oh. house? He's got a huge house. Put him in his house. It's first of all, it's not that big. <laughs> It's not that. Bad. It's not that. Bad. <laughs> Let's calm down. Like, I love how you say that. that we, You're the only person who says that, but it's like only because of like, it's just like real estate on the real estate level. It's not, it's not impressive. <laughs> well, it's probably bigger than my house, maybe square footage wise. I don't know, but like, he's not like everybody's got to relax with that. They're like, he's got a mega mansion. It's like, uh, no, no yeah. How much did he spend? Like no, a, 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 a million seven. Three million dollars. That's nothing. Stop. In LA? Come on. It's not nothing, but it's not a mega man. Like, people are calling it a man. Like, say words mean things. Yeah. What's like a mega man? Did you see Rush Limbaugh's gay relative pissed on his grave? Oh, no. <laughs> <Or weird relative. laughs> I didn't some hear that. Uh, uh, some guy posted on Reddit. He's like, my grandfather, we're somehow I'm related to Rush Limbaugh. My grandfather said Rush was a piece of shit, even as a kid. I'm going to go pay my respects. And then he posted a picture of just. He pissed on his grave. Wow. Who who's who, who in your who's who would you piss on in your family? Well, the question is who would who who in my family would piss on my grave? Right. And the answer is multiple people. Yeah. That's what I was talking about Meghan Markle, where I was like, this idea your father, her sister, like everybody hates her, and then like 
like it, that's one thing. By the way, maybe they don't even hate her for justified reasons. But when you this bitch like pretends not to know, they hate. Like I would never pretend not to know. Right. And there's people in my family don't like me. It's like if you have problems with people you know, it's not like a fucking shock. But yeah, he went pissed on. <laughs> got a big Reddit post out of it, you know. <laughs> nice. You know. I don't like doing. That. I'm. I'm. A little, I don't like pissing in public. Yeah, I mean, of course. Are you the one that tells me to piss in your back? No, it's the other people, right? People will tell like in Long Island. People will be like, you know, you at a party, and people are like just piss in the backyard, and it's like what? Yeah, I don't say that. I've never, I've never been like piss in the backyard. <laughs> Are you the one who tells me to piss in the backyard? No, I've never said that. That's never been an idea that I I've had a lot of bad ideas in my life. But I've never had the idea of I'm in Oklahoma right now and I wish it was more like Native American like there's so much Native American shit, but like well, we it's killed far them all. away. Didn't we kill them all? It's like, no, a lot of them are here eating onion rings at Cattleman's Steakhouse, which was lovely. Oh yeah. But uh how does it compare to yeah. like quality meats, for instance? It doesn't. It's not that good. It's okay. actually not really that good. I'm just <laughs> trying to be nice. They have good onion rings. It's like Is it like the, did you ever go to the good steer near like the Smith Haven Mall? No, but that's probably better. Right. Like, and it's not good. This I, is I, yeah. this is fine. The steak is good. It's not dry aged steak like you go to like New York City, but it's good yeah. and like People are in there in sweatpants and cowboy hats, and you know, I mean, it's, it's it looks like a diner, but they're eating steak. It's whatever. It's whatever. Yeah. Uh, and there's a cool room that has like steer on the wall. It's like that's there, you know. Um, but yeah, you're sitting there, you see like native families and cowboy families, and they're all sitting next to each other. In Oklahoma, there are people in cowboy hats, and that. I don't like that. I want to write that. Yeah. I need the conflict. Imagine well, if, like, yeah. imagine if, like one of those guys just got up and scalped one of the uh, cowboy guys like at dinner, and then went back to eat and, steak. Uh, by the way, it would be uh, lovely in terms of just <laughs> excitement level because nothing else was going on. Right. <laughs> nothing else was going. This truly, as as, as a, of all the places that I've been lucky enough to do comedy on the road, uh, being here is the most boring place I've ever been. Right. I mean, uh, is, it, is it worse than Omaha? Yeah, it's somehow worse in Omaha. It's, they're they're both fighting for the top spot, but somehow it's worse. I mean, like, what do what doesn't it have? Omaha is also horrible. Like, like Omaha at least has the lore of like, oh, the Franklin scandal, and like, right. there's things <laughs> I can like Look, we've done on the show. At least they're at least they're infamous for fucking kids. <laughs> right. Well, at least there's something to think about where you go like, oh, this is where. Oklahoma City, I mean, I guess the Cherokee Nation and the Choctaw Nation, they're cool, but they're um, they're miles away. I also, they're like hours away. I also just don't think I can like go on a reservation. Um, What, you personally, or what do you mean? Yeah, me per like just like showing up and being like, hi, show me. The, well, I mean, it, like, it depends. You can look up, like, you should go on. Uh, by the way, I, so I spoke to one of the guys, and he's like, hey, man, he's like, He's like, I don't know what you're thinking, but he goes, it's not like an avatar. He's like, you're all just getting drugs. He's very depressing. Yeah. I'm like, right. I'm like, yeah, I forgot that. They like, might have I, little I, shops yeah. and stuff. So, like, I mean. You well, got... that that I want. I thought I was going to try to get Joe Rogan, like, some nice, like, I don't know, spear yeah, and arrowhead. Or... Yeah, because, like, I mean, I, I know like... I, I know Poospatak Reservation. I took you there once. Uh, it, was just, it was basically just a big cigarette uh, yard sale. Yeah, you're selling cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but they have those shops there, so they might they might be you might be able to buy like a nice Versace watch like tax free. Yeah, I mean, does Versace make watches? I'm not sure. I'm not a wealthy man. I I, I mean, they probably do. I imagine they do, yeah. but I imagine that like at Pusatuck, yeah, they're <laughs> probably not. They're probably not selling them. You get enrolled a little bit if you're buying Versace. Yeah, I mean. Well, that's the thing. People really love watches. Like, Steph and I just bought one. And people are like, oh, it's an appreciating ass fat. And I don't, I don't understand watches. I mean, look. I know they're nice, but I don't get it. It's never been for me. I don't understand. It, it, is it an appreciate? If you just buy, like, a, a stock Rolex, does that really appreciate that much? Or is it like. I mean, the, they say it, it appreciates and holds its value. But again, I don't know what anybody needs. 
when they say this stuff. I mean, who the fuck's going to be like, I get being like, hey, this is a 1920 Rolex and it still works just as well. It was kept in immaculate condition. Okay. Who the fuck? I, I don't care that. Like, But 50 years from now, who's going to be like, this is a 2022 Rolex? And it's like, what? Like, is anyone going to care? Like, why, why wouldn't they just want a new one? We lose you? No, I'm, I'm, I'm just trying to think about how, like, at the end of the day, it's kind of like the... The, the, the thing is with washes is that there's a finite amount of them and that everybody wants them, I guess, and right. that... But that's, like, that's like, not... but that's, like, worse than diamonds, right? As far as, like, it's, like, artificial scarcity. Like they could make more watches. Right. They could, for sure. I guess these the, the prices of watches always shock. I mean, that's got to like, be, like, one, one of the... Uh, key indicators of like, do you, are you actually wealthy or are you just like, you know, fake, you know, new rich bullshit? Like, like, it's you, do you buy things that are just art, like sneakers, like artificially scarce, you know, like, as opposed right. to like buying, like, you know, uh, oil, oil, you know, dr drilling rice in Guatemala. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. I, I, I don't understand even why they're so desirable, but I, I guess, you know, people want them and so they're not looked at as like the worst investment i think cars appreciate a lot more than them a lot more than watches well yeah but these people also don't, don't have much of a personality and i'm not trying to play the game right. like oh rich people aren't happy you know they're happy but they don't have a personality right so it's like here here's something to fill the void and, the, and you know it's funny like a lot of the really wealthy watches like the really crazy money watch a lot of them you wouldn't know how nice they were if you just looked at it, you'd have to know what it is. Like a right. tax elite watch. Like some of them you just go, oh, that looks like a nice watch, but then it's like, oh, it's four hundred thousand dollars. You go, I don't know. Well, it's like Who would know that? It's a secret decoder ring. You, you know, That's that, that, right. That's that, exactly right. Yeah. You don't want getting like you don't want a poor person robbing you because you have a diamond crusted, you know, wristband. You, you but you know, people who have money will know what it is, supposedly. I know. And what about uh, uh, what if Jordan Peterson just became a watch guy? Like, what if, <laughs> it's not, what if he, that was just like... He's already his, a suit final, guy. Yeah, like, what if that was his final incarnation? Like, just talking about watches? <laughs> like, if he just kind of, like, just would, you know, would mention the other things every now and then, but would all bring it back to, like, watches, and he just kept talking about watches and, like, what a good investment they were and different timepieces throughout history, like... Isn't that his final? Like, you know what's interesting about him? What is the final stop on his train? I'm like, I'm trying to wonder. I like. I mean, be I funnier. I go, it'd be funnier yeah. if uh, if it was just uh, sneakers instead of watches. Yeah, but I couldn't see that. Like, that's too much of a jump for me. Him talking about sneakers. Um, what's funny to me is this idea that like. I don't know. He just starts, starts talking about jewelry. You just did an episode about him. What is he up to now? I can never like well, keep he, up. Well, what we were covering is he wrote this book called the ABC of childhood tragedy. And it's just him with these like really creepy illustrations. Someone did like there's these poems here. Wait, where's the book? I have it here. What happened? Uh, I'll grab it one second. Yeah, so he wrote this book, The ABC of Child... Not even the ABC, it's just The ABC of Childhood Tragedy. It's a hardcover book I bought it off Amazon. And this is these weird-ass poems. So, like, the first one will be... And it's like, there's an illustration to go with it. It'll be like, A, Adela, an abusive sprat, was fond of teasing little brats. They finally jumped her one fine day, and now Adela's locked away. <laughs> That's A. <laughs> and B is... Bertram was a bestial thug. He had a very brutal mug. He made a break for boarding school where he thrived on being cruel. But a lot of them are about get, kids getting raped by their parents, I think. Yeah, I, I, okay. That, uh, Elijah's, Elijah's stepmom, quite the sot, made of him a bitter tot, with no children of her own, teased him till he bled and groaned. Yeah, I don't know. So that's what he's... This, this didn't do that well. 
This is yeah, what what is what is this? It, it's it, like, it, what was the intent? Well, that's part of what we were discussing on the show because it's like it's it's not it's way too dark for kids. I feel like, and like it's it's not for adults. It's too stupid. It's almost like a way to like Lucy made, like, Lucy made the point where it's like if you abuse your kids, you give them this book and like, see, it's not that bad. I'm not I'm not the worst right. thing. I, it, it's very yeah. hard to figure out what weird, he's. Huh? No, he's a weirdo. Uh, not yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, it's just interesting to see what the final stop on the train is, like yeah. where it goes. Jordan Peterson actually, yeah, his, Jordan Peterson actually wrote that. Yes, people people were yeah. surprised in the chat. <laughs> Yeah, how many people are in the chat now? Thirteen. <laughs> Thirteen. Wow. See, power bring me in and get three more. <laughs> um, but the uh, yeah, I just he's interesting. I just because you know Rogan Comedy Club's opening on Tuesday. I'm going down there to do it. It would just be so funny if like Jordan Peterson's hosting the show. <laughs> Like that would be like if, maybe that's the final stop on the train. Yeah, I don't yeah, know. Fat girls have the best pussy, you know. Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're such a dick. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's interesting. There's almost, you know, you put out so much content, and then it's almost like there doesn't seem to be much left right. to say. Like that, I think that's maybe the problem. Like people, you know, because of the internet, they put out so much, and he has put out so much that. I don't like somebody was they were talking to Ann Coulter the other day and like, Will you ever write another book? She goes, I don't know, I think I've said it all. They're like, No, 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 you gotta write more. She's like, I don't know. And I'm like, Yeah. I mean well, look, let her be. That that's so that's write such a true thing to say for anyone else. But I mean when you read her books, but she do you really feel like well no one has said this yet. I mean I've read some, I think my brother had a couple of her books on the bookshelf back when I was with my parents' house and I read some of it and was like No, 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 no she's not well, no one's saying she's this revolutionary <laughs> thing, but it's also like she's also said now enough of like enough crap. We're like, <laughs> what? What is? What is she supposed to write? Right. Like, and the titles of her books are like mug. Like, yeah. how much worse could that get? Like mug. <laughs> like you're know, like no mug. One of the titles of her oh. books is M U G G E D mug. So it's like what? I mean, God, what's the next one gonna Raped. be? Like you know, <laughs> right? I mean, it's like she said kind of what she wants to say. I mean, right. there's nothing more, you but, know, even though she said it while playing Donkey Kong. <laughs> right. That's, that's next. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like, there's gotta be a next for all these people, I guess, you know? Right. Like I got all these people, I guess if they want to keep going, they have to, they have to do something. And I mean, like the amazing thing is what this world will look like in just even like five years. Yeah. Right. Like five to ten years, you know what this world will look like. I mean, That's the question. Have you seen this? Uh, I, we did a story on work. Uh, this, this this VR comedy club on, on like the metaverse. No, it's like it's, I think it's called Soapstone Comedy Club or something. And it's just like it's people with VR headsets and they and they go into a comedy club and watch comedy. Uh, you should look into that. Maybe, yeah, maybe, maybe you don't. You don't have to travel the country so much anymore. You can just, you know, do it all in VR. Yeah, I mean, I don't have an interest in that. <laughs> you know, part of the thing about the road, I like have a love hate relationship with the road because, like, I hate the road, and then I also, when I'm in LA, I want to be on the road. Right. Like it's a weird thing. <laughs> I just have a love hate. You're just not a happy person. <laughs> That's right. But. Uh, um, the, it, the shows when you're on the road, you're having fun on stage because you're like, you know, it's fucking great, but the road's kind of a dumpy place, but you know, whatever, right. fucking whatever. It's like, you know, it's like I was walking with my opener the other day, just around Oklahoma. I was like, this is it. This is comedy. And he's like, yeah. I'm like, this is what, <laughs> what do you think it was? You know, like, <laughs> what do you think it was? Like. There's one person that gets SNL and you get to go to celebrity after parties and, and you meet celebrities and, you know, McDonald's gives you a hundred thousand dollars for a post about chicken nugget. Right. And then everybody else has to do what I'm doing. Even if you and, were like a young straight guy who's banging like waitresses at the comedy club, it's still gotta be pretty empty feeling. <laughs> like, it's like, you know, what's your Saturday like? 
you hung yeah, over. I mean, it's, like, you know, he's drunk, hung over. Like, it's just yeah, kind of a. It, it's empty no matter what. It's be, because that's, I think, part of the point, right? The point of being a traveling clown is that the emptiness feeds into the <laughs> show because you're like, well, this has got to be good. Right. You know? Like. If you were a guy who only did comedy in one area, that's where you lived, and like, how good does it ever have to be? Right. You know? Because you're not offsetting anything, right? You're like, well, I've got this nice life here. I go out and do comedy. But when you go to Oklahoma City, you're like, well, this show's got to be really good because what the fuck is the point? No, if you bomb at the Belmore Bean, you could be like, oh, I'm still a dentist. (laughs) Right. <laughs> or or more likely, I still pretend to be a dentist. <laughs> most, of the, most of the people. Remember that guy, Doctor Harry Friedman? He was. I was like, what kind of doctor is he? They're like, he's not a real doctor. Like, oh, oh, at that's all? His shtick? No, not at all. <laughs> it's his shtick. People in Long Island will just make up a job and pretend to have it. It's like their thing, right? <laughs> you know, it's like a, the real job is waiting for the mom to die. <laughs> Yeah, the real job is just like fucking, you know, trying to participate in like fucking seditious online movement. <laughs> every time, by the way, every time like like anybody from Long Island goes on the internet, it's a fucking documentary. It's like tickled, capturing the freedom. It's like a horrible right. TWA like, hundred. Like yeah, it under. Like every documentary about Long Island is like a nightmare. Right. Yeah, we've never, it's never just like the beautiful Gold Coast. Yeah, it's never like this guy went to war and came back and then started. A, it's always like no, we this found, dark we, web pedophile <laughs> capital writer. We went to the Civil War Museum, which is really a Confederacy museum, and it was like this guy was like from Long Island. He joined the Confederacy. Yeah, it's crazy. No, we're, we're, we're a bad lot. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, and, and you know, I've, all I've done is try to explain comedically for some vehicle how bad we are, and <laughs> I've, never, I've never gotten a chance, but, uh, you know, I'm, I'm sure one day someone will relent. I'll be, you know, uh, totally out of the business, and they'll be like, how about we do this thing about Long Island? As soon as I get out of the business, someone will make something about Long Island. It just can't be me. Well, the they whole thing is like, it, it just seems like in their in their minds it's like redundant. It's like it's like you know I want to make something lambasting Long Island. Like you don't have to. We we we, we hate Long Island so much we won't put the show in here. Right. Right. Yeah. It's I mean, so there's sitcoms. I mean, King, King of Queens was long. I mean, like, well, I guess it's Queens technically, but uh, there was. I mean, everyone loves Raymond was Long Island, right? That show. Yeah. But no one knew that, right? They didn't even bring it up. Not really. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they, they, they hide, you know, for if you, good reason. If, like, if you got really into the the lore of Everyone Loves Raymond, you'd know, but... Right, right. If you get into the lore of Everyone Loves Raymond. Yeah, imagine that. Just being on the Everybody Loves Raymond Reddit. <laughs> Honestly, I was How watching a couple episodes be? last night. It, 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 it's a good show. Yeah, it was. But it would just be funny if, like... Like, there was just a Reddit where people were like, why don't they do the show again, these lazy fucks? <laughs> these lazy pieces of shit. <laughs> like, What's his name? Recast the mom and dad. Brad Garrett thinks he's too good for this now? Yeah. Dude, I was talking to some opener, right? He was in, uh, in his Oklahoma comedy club. He goes, he goes, Brad Garrett's in Vegas, man. He goes, it's the classiest a comedy club can get. I'm like, oh, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, he was taking dead, deadly serious. He's like, it's all like oak and <laughs> tablecloths, and you can get like a lobster there. Like just the way he was saying it was funny, right? Now maybe he's right, right? I don't even know. I've never yeah. been there. I know it's in Vegas, but it was just the way he said it. He's like, it's the classiest the comedy club can get. He's like, you can get steak and lobster, and they got a tablecloth, and he's like, it's just beautiful. And I looked it up; it looks fine, but it's just like the way he said it. I'm like, it's just funny to be like, that's the dream. Like, I'm like, one he's day eat- I'll be a bread <laughs> He's eating a shitty lobster. Going, you ever look at a clit? <laughs> <laughs> he's right, but it is interesting because it's like maybe that is the more realistic dream if you do a comedy in Oklahoma, right? right. It's not like I'm going to be on SNL. It's like. One day I'll go to Vegas and I'll be on the Brad Garrett stage. 
Where where where, where is this club? Is it on is it on like the strip in a prominent place? It's in the MGM. Oh, it's in the MGM. That's that's nice, right? Yeah, it's not bad. I mean, I'm sure it's not nice. I don't know. I, Look, I feel like this guy might be right. It does sound pretty classy. Somehow this gets back. Like the CIA calls me. They're like, were you shitting on Brad Garrett in a Twitch stream? I'm like, look, what? <laughs> They're like, we got real problems. <laughs> you better keep your mouth shut. <laughs> no, I'm sure, listen, I'm sure it's a lovely place, right? Like, I'm sure it's like, I'm sure it's great. I just messaged one of the, one of the kids from Reservation Dog. I followed him on Twitter or on uh, Instagram, and he goes, oh, I'm a fan of the show or whatever. But that's nice. I've said horrible things about the reservation dog show, but I've never even watched it. I just – What is that? Wait, wait, I just so made fun of it. But it's good when people have a sense of humor. Oh, is this the show where, like, it's just res- – it's like, it's, like, it's, like, it's like Oliver Twist in the on the reservation? <laughs> yeah, I believe that's what it is. I believe that's what it is. It's Oliver Twist on a reservation. I love the idea of that. <laughs> uh, it's Oliver Twist, but they're on, they're on a reservation. Apparently, a lot, of, a lot of women get murdered on these reservations or something. There's like all these shows about like native women getting murdered. Like documentaries. Dude, so the hotel I'm staying in is supposed to be haunted, right? So I go down to Kyrie Irving, Meta World Peace, whoever these, you know who all these, yeah, yeah, yeah. and these passports. They all won't stay here. They're all terrified of it or whatever. I think they all just came in drunk or something, but... Well, the real um, one, I love how the, the front staff is like, Kyrie Irving won't stay here because uh, it's, it's that, he thinks it's haunted. Also, he called him the N-word. Well, no, 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 no. It's all in the news, right? Oh, okay. So they have all these... Kyrie Irving starring in a movie about this haunted hotel. Oh, like, really? It's retarded. But yeah, it's so dumb. It's really dumb. I don't know if it'll get greenlit, but it's so amazing with like, I can't get anything made. And then you're like, oh, okay, well, I'm glad you're doing this. It's <laughs> like, well, who else are they? It's not like Meryl Street. You know, they're like, oh, it's Kyrie Irving starring in a movie with a haunted hotel. <laughs> I'm like, great. So this hotel, like, I asked one of the people, first of all, I walk in and a really, really fat guy is behind the counter and he goes, he points at my shirt. He goes, I got the same shirt in 11, which I don't even know what that means. 11? And I went, Jesus. yeah, I was like, oh, yeah, because it's the XL. Like, oh, yeah, they got us all wearing the same stuff. He's like, it's because we look so goddamn good, man. I'm like, right, okay. So <laughs> I'm checking in, like, you know, enough's enough. And then uh, it's just the worst thing ever. <laughs> and then the, the person next to him, I'm like, what's the deal with the haunted stuff? And the guy goes to me, he goes, he goes, he just looks at me like a real, like, he goes, you know, working in a haunted hotel would be pretty cool. He goes, working in a hotel that people think is haunted for 11 years? He goes, that sucks. I'm like, all right, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I, uh, I'm sorry about asking the question. So. <laughs> I mean, that's why I used to work across from the uh, Amityville Horror House. And people would just be, like, rolling up. I'm like, you know, where, you know, where's that horror house at? And I would just send them, like, for, away. Like, I would just be like, oh, it's down that way. It's just like it's like children are murdered here. It's not it's not it's not a horror movie. Like some guy just murdered his kids. It's like why don't you go to the kennel where that fucking guy, that redhead lawyer guy from yesterday, fucking shot his wife and son, Alex Murdoch or whatever his name is. Um. Yeah, but people like that shit, man. Ghouls. You know, like people. Plus, people live here now. Like, I mean, I, I guess like don't buy, but they changed. Like, they, they, it's like you know, they completely re- re- renovated the house. It's a, I mean, it's a nice area where it is. I've I, I've taken you there before, right? Yeah, I mean, listen, it's Amityville Horror House is nice. Yeah, it's nice. I would it's those old Victorians, right? Would you, would you live in it? I mean, you know, oh, tom- was... by the way, tomorrow. Yeah. No, I don't care. No one cares. Yeah. No one cares. <laughs> Dude, no one gives a shit. Dude, you go to somebody and like, I love all these movies where they're like, oh, I don't know if I want to live. Go to anyone and go be like, okay, so it's a Hampton, it's a block on the beach. There was a brutal murder. And someone's like, done. Like, they don't care. <laughs> you know what I love <laughs> about like, Twitch? I'm going to murder my family too. We have a uh, Twitch, we having this funny conversation. We got Tim Dillon on the show. And still this guy is like, dude, this is driving me crazy. Can you morph into a ball? <laughs> <laughs> Well, but he, but that's what this is. He wants. To, I I I I respect him, and he. I get what this is. Like right. you should morph into a ball. Like what do you think this is? Masterpiece theater. Like he's like, dude. What you know? Yeah, I get it. I'm looking. For, I'm looking for the morph ball. 
I'm just, you know, yeah, I just, <laughs> yeah, I get it. I get it. I want to go see some math or something, man. I don't know. I want to see something fun. So you want to do meth? No, I want to see like a meth lab or something. I don't know. Oh, just, yeah. just, you know, something interesting or. Get a, I don't know. You know you do? I mean, I hate to say it, but maybe, you know, a lot of these native guys might be on TaskRabbit, like just doing stuff, you know, or, or, or you know, local people. So maybe you find, you can just, or you, you have people, you know, you order, you order some stuff, you try to find someone with a native sounding name, and then you, uh, you, you. I know, it feels weird ordering a Native American on TaskRabbit, but here's what <laughs> I was going to do. There, there was uh, a Native American, very good looking, by the way, in the steakhouse. And I wanted to ask him, like, hey, like, can I just, like, can you just, like, I'm curious. Like, I host a podcast. I'm curious about, like, the deal here. Yeah. <laughs> what if I gave you money? I gave you. And he's like, famous last words. <laughs> yeah. Right, right, right. That's a good point. Right. General Custer. I'm just, I'm just curious about the deal here. Yeah, I was curious. <laughs> yeah, it's very interesting, man. Like, I was like, I passed the table. It was like a native guy and his mom and his little daughter. And I was like, oh, it's so cute. The baby's really cute. And he's like, thanks. But, like, you can tell, like, they're very distrustful of the whites. And I don't know why. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. I don't know. Some guy just said that you should visit Joe Exotic in prison. Oh, that's interesting. And you know what? I would do that. Yeah. If, if he had... But do, it, do, don't I have to like? Do, isn't that a thing where you have to like? There's so many hoops to jump through. I don't have so many. Maybe but I mean, not. I mean, uh, you, how, how, when are you leaving today or tomorrow? Yeah, but I could stay. I guess if it was Joe Exotic. Yeah, I mean, uh, call the prison. I mean, you might have a couple of fans. But then here's the deal. I, uh, could, how could we do a podcast? Like, oh, that, that's that would very very different. <laughs> I, I know, but then there's the point. I'm just talking to Joey Zotic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we at least do a photo for Instagram? Like, there's a certain point where I'm just going to be, like, talking to Joe Exotic, being like, wait, what? <laughs> I don't think they'll let you have your phone in there. They'll probably, you know. Maybe I know, it's a problem. Like, so these people take my word for it. I'm just talking to Joe Exotic, and he's like, Listen, can you get me out of here? I'm like, no, I don't. <laughs> and he's like, what the hell are you doing here? I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> They wouldn't let me on a reservation. <laughs> they just wanted to go on a reservation and learn their ways. That was all my, that was my whole day. Why is he in prison? He was participating in a plot to kill Carol Baskin. Oh, I didn't watch the whole thing, but okay. Or any of it. Yeah, I, I, thought, I, I, thought, he just, I, I thought he just hung out with tigers. <laughs> well, there was that, but he tried to have her killed. Uh, was the tiger killed? No, Carol. Oh, okay. That's, that's cute. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't really have a huge problem with it, you know? <laughs> it's like... Carol seems like a real cunt. I mean, this is just the way they live, you know? Yeah. Just, you know, but I thought he was like a now. Florida guy. He was. Oh, it was like a federal crime or something? I don't know. It's a great question. Maybe it wasn't in Florida. I thought it was in Florida. I mean, it seems like a Florida guy. But maybe Tiger King was in Oklahoma. I, mean, I have no idea. I would assume either Florida or South Carolina. I love how you just add South Carolina. It's kind of a similar vibe, isn't it? I'm gonna I'm gonna type in where was Tiger King Zoo? Oh, Oklahoma. Oh, it was in Oklahoma. Interesting. I had no idea. Well, that's fun. Wow, so I could go. Maybe I could go visit that zoo. I mean, is it still functioning? It, 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 or where it was? It you maybe go where it was. Yeah. When you got Greater shot, Winwood Zoo, you got shot by the cops showing up there. It's permanently closed. It's an hour away. That's not that far. It's really not that bad. Maybe I'll tell him I open it to rent a car and I'll go, we're just going to go try to see Joe Exotic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to comedy. <laughs> we just go to <laughs> He's like, yeah, man. He's like, yeah. He's like, you know that thing you shit on SNL? Yeah, that seems like a lot more fun. 
<laughs> I'm like, shut up. I'm like, it's a closed zoo, man. These people aren't happy. Yeah, they're fucking not happy. But all right, listen, I'm going to go. How many do we leave off with here? 20. 13? We're up to 20. Wow. <laughs> I mean, so this is what Twitch is. It's an endurance game. Like, we yeah. could get 70, but we'd have to do it for seven hours. I mean, I was for a while getting like 30 to 40, but then I started playing Dark Souls games, and people seemed to fall off. Um, well, it's a, it's a long yeah. It's a long process yeah, of yeah. everything. But all right, all right. I'll talk to you later. Good, yeah, goodbye, Twitch. Thanks for, thank you for tuning, for coming. <laughs>